What's up, YouTube? I'm the car car one. Fuck. All right. What's up, YouTube? I'm the Kyle Carl 131. In this gel test, I'm going to be trying the Liberty Civil Defense 50 grain 9 mil plus P. Liberty Civil Defense. This is kind of the most, uh, that's the most well known, I would say, for the fact that it is a 9 millimeter bullet which averages 115, 124, 147. It's the general ones. You can get some like the Extreme Defender in 90 grain, but 50 grain. <laughs> by far the lightest i have ever seen nine mil and that's what this is kind of most well known for i guess you could say <clears throat> so we're going to be trying this in some 10 percent ballistic gel five yards away we're going to be checking out the velocity on a chronograph because it says 2040 feet per second that is screaming for a nine mil load which tend to max out at like even nine mil plus p plus p plus like 1400 maybe 1500 the fact that this is 50 grains means they can get it they claim we'll find out with my glock 45 uh they claim 2000 feet per second that kind of worries me it's a light bullet going super fast i am worried that it's going to lose and dump all of its energy really quickly and it's not going to get the penetration that i personally look for but let's find out 50 grain civil defense, Glock 45, five yards. Hopefully my chronograph will record it. Hopefully I can see because it's starting to rain. <laughs> 2175 for velocity. All right. <laughs> Remember in my intro when I said, I'm worried that it's not going to get enough penetration. <laughs> wow. Turns out I was right. So, <clears throat> I checked the slow mo. I think it didn't work, unfortunately. So, shame. But overall penetration, overall penetration. 10 inches, maybe 10 and 1 8 inches, but 10 inches. The, there are some petals it looks like, or some fragments that flaked off. Those extend from the, from shallowest to deepest. Looks like three and a half to, four and three quarter inches, temporary stretch. Well, neck, we'll start with neck. Neck being the distance before it starts to cause tissue damage, an inch roughly. And then the tissue damage, which is not very, it doesn't, trans, it doesn't translate well from ballistic gel to human tissue, okay? Human tissue tends to be more elastic than ballistic gel, even organic which is in and of itself different from synthetic that I'm using. But uh, as it's portrayed here in this clear ballistics gel, temporary stretch is about one inch to six before it starts to just taper off into a tiny little, uh, just the bullet track. Close up of the wound track. Like I said, there's a small little neck there before it explodes, but then it explodes. Not very deep. I don't think it's deep enough to cause significant injuries, but all those fragments exploded off a little bit farther is where the base of that bullet stopped at about 10 inches. There's the base of the bullet that I pulled off. It didn't expand at all, unfortunately. I thought it would. It's a hollow point. I figured it would expand and at least make a bigger wound track or a bigger permanent cavity, but it didn't. It just kind of broke everything off. I'm not going to pull all those out, but this is an example of one of those little fragments or pelts. They're the bits that flaked off, but there you go. That's what it looks like. So how did the Liberty Civil Defense do? 
Um, in my personal opinion, the way I like to do and rate ballistics gel tests, it failed. The standard I go for is 12 to 18 inches. And the simple fact of the matter is it did not have enough. It only got to 10 inches, I believe. Maybe you could split hairs and say 10 and an eighth, but 10 inches. So if you try to plan for the worst possible scenario, which is what I try to do, this might not have enough penetration to both hit and destroy vital organs, depending on like if it's a bad, if you don't get like a perfect frontal shot, it might not have enough, which is what I like to go for. So it didn't have enough penetration. The petals that flaked off, it, not even really petals, they're just more like just straight fragments, but it, uh, they only got like at the max, like five and a half inches. Given that the standard I go for is 12 to 18, all the way back here, I'm guessing personally, those fragments are only going to cause like, be a flesh wound, maybe a little bit deeper. I personally don't think they're gonna go deep enough to cause any kind of organ damage, considering when I did a, B, a BB test on this, testing it for the FBI's penetration standards right up here, the .177 caliber BB, a BB gun, got like two and a half inches. Th those, those fragments only got twice that. So they're not gonna go deep enough, in my opinion, to cause any extra bleeding, enough extra bleeding, to cause an incapacitation in a very quick self-defense scenario. So the only thing this Liberty Civil Defense has going for it is it is smoking. Almost 2,200 feet per second. But just like I said in the intro, it's not heavy enough. It all flakes apart and fragments off and it loses all of that energy very quickly. So I guess maybe if you live in an apartment and you are, I don't, Think you should be i think over penetration is way overly worried about but if you personally worry about over penetration a lot this could be a pretty good round it gets almost enough not quite but for me personally this one specific test it's not the end all be all this one test my personal opinion i gotta give it a thumbs down it doesn't get enough penetration in my opinion if you disagree with me, tell me in the comments below. I'd love to just have a debate about it. If you're really butt hurt and you want to bitch at me, also tell me in the comments below because that still helps my interactions. If you enjoyed the video though, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. If you want to see more gel tests or content like this in the future, go ahead and subscribe. It means a lot to me. I'm the Calcara 131, signing off.